This Chinese lady just brought 23 of her relatives to a blind date dinner. And then she tried to sue the guy when he didn't want to pick up the tab for all of it. David, what is going on? Man, this is one of the sillier pieces of news to go viral out of China. Long story short, Miss Zhang met Mr. Liu through a matchmaker in Jilin. Jilin is in Northeast China, it's Dongbei. And uh, they have a dinner together. She, They probably agree that she can bring a few friends or family members, but she shows up with 23 and they rack up a bill of $2,800 USD. That's a gigantic dinner tab have in China, Andrew. He walks out when they try to stick him with the whole thing. She calls him, asks for at least half. He offers 550. She doesn't like it, so she sues him. And in the court of law, basically they determine he was only responsible for 200. Wow, guys. So we're going to get into the comments section and we're also going to talk about why is this story going so viral? It's pretty silly, but please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. I think it's going viral for two reasons. One, Andrew, there is sort of a manosphere versus what? Uh, woman knows fear thing yeah. going on. On I want to say globally, yeah. not just the Western world. Yes. Marriage rates, divorce rates, they're all... Well, marriage rates are going down. Divorce rates are going up. It seems like city boys, city girls, this is what, like some sort of global trend. Of course, it like has different names and details right. depending on which part of the world you're in. And number two, I think this is just uh, like, a, it, it's still negative, but it's a sillier piece of news to come out of China. So I'm glad that it's sillier, but yeah, I guess it's still on the new greedy <laughs> side. Like, Yo, man, this brings a new meaning to the, yeah, if you marry somebody, you must marry their family too. Yeah, but if you know about a lot of like traditional cultures are really big societies, India, China, Andrew. Sometimes you can find things, you know, we're talking about like Manchuria right now, like Dombay, that, that almost feel out of time, mm -hmm. right? And if you use a matchmaking service, some people, that is still commonplace for family members to show up on the first date. Yeah, 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 no, because no, no. Because you're, you're I, looking I, more for marriage. This is not like casual Western city dating, yeah, you know? Yeah, I mean, even sometimes I would say in America, it's not the craziest thing for a girl to be like, hey, I'm meeting you up for the first time. Can I bring a friend? She's really cool. And then like, like, you know, us two, like, I've heard of that before. But, but less common in the West, it's for sure. It's less common in the West, but I've heard one friend coming. And then, obviously, in more traditional societies, maybe one parent or one relative comes. Right, I get as that. crazy as that sounds to yeah. Americans, believe me, guys, America is a, the, the youngest country. But, Other societies, they, they're super old. But 23, this is, this is how to stay single 101 right here. Yeah, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, I can see why she's still single. Imagine this guy's lifestyle if he actually married her, if she's bringing 23 and expecting him to pay for all 23 off the rip. You know what? I, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Miss Dong, she doesn't look bad looking, all right? She looks pretty but I, it's probably not worth it, man. Already somebody's bringing this much drama into your life. That is crazy. Also, like, what a miscommunication to have. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, she was probably like, yeah, can I bring two or three? He's like, yeah, two or three is fine. Oh, my gosh, this is 23. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? You sure are I just saw <laughs> my question is how do you sit through the whole meal and just eat it and was, like, looking at everybody here, there, just being like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, You're saying he wasn't nervous. Who are like, they? Uh, are they with you? <laughs> man, it looks like some people she just pulled off the street, but apparently those were her legitimate family members. Uh, right, hey, like we said, you know, the Dongbei families, they keep it tight. Somebody said, uh, I, to be honest, I've seen this happen before in China and India. And even in The Godfather, there's a scene where Michael wants to woo this Italian girl when he gets, uh, he has to run away to Italy, Apollonia. And she brings her entire chaperone team with him and he's got to pay for the bill too. So mm. basically just going to show people... This is an old world tradition yeah. when people are like looking to court for marriage. Yeah, and I think especially maybe when it's like a man of a higher economic level trying to marry a woman. a woman who doesn't have as much money. Then you kind of like show face by treating her family out, right? Now, to, now, now here's the logic behind it. I know it sounds crazy what I'm about to say. To but Americans, I'm, this is sounding still no, crazy, right? I know, I know. So... I think to bring the amount of no family members without him knowing is wild, but it is true. Like what if he had paid for like a big feast for the family at like the village or something like, you know, if he's trying to woo like this beautiful girl from like a smaller town and he's like, yeah, you know what? Don't worry. I'll come by and I'll feed your whole family. And you know, right, right, like well, you're trying to show your economic health. I mean, honestly, there was a lot of speculation that, uh, Mr. Liu is not as good looking as Mrs. Zhang. So, of course, his value to her, if her value is, is her looks, is his economic strength. Listen. What I, he's good at. I am a pretty Dongbei woman. I am Han Piaoliang. So you have to buy me everything. <laughs> 
Somebody said that this is a result of the offset gender ratios in China. For example, uh, they say they say considering there's four men for every woman, these outcomes are pretty predictable. Obviously, I looked into it. Actually, the gender offset is 5%, which is still pretty big because genetically it should be 50-50. But um, yeah, I do think this creates certain things, especially with the felt focus on wealth in China. Like yeah. you got to understand there's hypergamy on the woman's side. And then there's like the guys using their wealth to secure a pretty, you know, good wife. Yeah. I don't know, guys. You and guys that, know what I mean. But, but you know, like there's all these dynamics going on. And then there's also the leftover woman dynamic where it's like women past the age of 30 or with like professional Shung. jobs. Yeah. yeah, like they're not as wanted. So I'm saying there's all these older single women or I don't want to say older, but just like professional women who are single now who are, are having trouble getting married and then this girl is here making it super hard for herself i don't understand there's probably more to the story what if but. she's like yeah but i am just using it as a hard filter because the greatest life for me and probably my family will be with a guy who does not bulk at paying for 23 people yeah like, well, what if she's using it as a way to she's like oh yeah mr liu he he was out of the pool already uh, liu you did not know but i am actually celebrating thanksgiving western thanksgiving today and you are going to pay for the dinner of course andrew there was a lot of guy comments on next shark basically saying uh was she hot like from her picture she does look pretty good looking and i'm not gonna lie those relatives look like a bunch of hillbillies and hicks <laughs> Hey, man. I mean, um, what, how much of a factor do you think plays in this? I mean, like we said, we mentioned earlier, we did not get a photo of uh, Mr. Liu, but I think mis there, there's got to be some sort of looks difference. Yeah. Somebody said, uh, you know, they're just taking advantage of people financially in a passive aggressive way. That is so Chinese. Just like taking the whole tray of crab legs at the buffet when they come out fresh. <laughs> Oh, no, man. This, this is, this, like, this, this is, this is, this is the level. part that goes to the more global negative news coming out of China, right? Uh, Yeah, but I guess it looks bad on Chinese women more so, I guess. I don't know. I, 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 to me, this is a more silly story. It's almost laughable. And it is does sound like something that could come out of any country. I don't think it's like so beyond like something that could happen in India or Russia, you know? It, it would have to be some sort of like country with an old world tint to it though yeah right? i can like, see it happening in countries in africa certain you know yeah maybe this was a manchurian ritual from the Qing dynasty i don't know 100 200 300 400 Yo, maybe, 500 years ago it sounds like society was definitely more like that back then but some people and some this was not shanghai you know where that they, they maybe more like westernized yeah, like, maybe like seoul or tokyo maybe there's a cultural rift like that guy is coming from liu is coming from one city this girl's coming from one town and she's like yeah this is how we do things and Jilin, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Dongbei is different from the rest of China. It's a little bit, a little bit. Um, Andrew, let's get into our takeaways, man. I think that there is a lot of class issues involved here. He's probably got a lot of money, so she's probably like, prove it to me. Prove it to me that you are going to be a good husband mm -hmm. to deserve me, Miss Song. Um, and I feel like in China in particular, this is going to be a sweeping statement, but money is more, com uh, more masculinity. Money and masculinity are mixed into the same drink, whereas in America... They're, those are separate drinks. You know what right, I mean? Like right, if you're right. made of drinks in your body or little compartments, masculinity, muscles, money, they're all separate compartments. Mm -hmm. In China, it's all like poured into one thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say in a general statement, yes. So what do you think? I mean, does this have anything to do with the marriage rates I, in China? I, I think so, yeah, yeah. I think this is where I really take anything away from this silly story is like, obviously this could happen in any country, man. There's a billion people in China, so there's all types of news. But this one caught on to the internet because I think right now, because marriage and building families is such a big issue in China and in a lot of places across the world, but I think particularly China because of the gender gap. Yeah, particularly a lot of more uh, countries with a little bit more late stage capitalism or more capitalism have really, really high divorce yeah. rates. Like, like China's moving towards 50%. The US is already over 50% on divorce rate. This is common. Think about it. So there's like about 30 million more men of marriage age than women. That is an issue. And not, not only that, but a lot of men and women, they want to leave China, right, for different opportunities to move out. Maybe they marry foreigners or whatever. They want to secure like foreign passports, I would say. Yeah, so, so I think... It's kind of weird. I think the only weird thing is, is during this time when it seems like so hard to have a child, to live in the big city, to get married as Chinese people, then like a story like this comes out. I'm sure, again, it could happen anywhere, but I guess 
it just goes to show you guys this man versus woman thing and this whole how to marry, how yeah. not to get married thing is going on all across the world. Yeah. This is not just a New York City, oh, it's hard to get married here issue. This is right. like a global thing. But I think it looks different in every country because yeah. there's an ancient culture that's being layered with this modern late stage yeah. capitalism. And then there's the intersection of those two layers. And obviously America doesn't have any ancient culture to inter, uh, interface with, to be honest. I mean, I think the thing about like masculinity and muscles and money all being one bucket in China, I feel like for me as a guy, I'd like to see that change, but it's sort of like the gun culture in America. Even though it should change, I don't really have any hope for it changing. You know what I mean? Because culture runs deep. It's very difficult to change culture. I mean, obviously, not everybody in China is like this, Andrew, but what do you think about these stories that do occasionally come out of, you know, faraway provinces, sometimes outside of the big city, where they almost feel like they're from 1800s or 1900s like these behaviors almost feel like america was maybe 100 200 years ago more than anything we resembles 2023 well you have the i think the interesting thing is like there's a lot of with social media now it's a lot easier to meet or like through an arrangement right it's easier to meet like people of different economic levels. So Mr. Liu is probably coming from a different economic level than Miss Dong, and they got set up together. I don't know what the blind, I don't know what that arrange, ranger did. Yo, that, whoever the matchmaker is, they losing their job. Cause that's a terrible matchmaker. <laughs> I pay you money just to lose more money. <laughs> Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of this com in the comment section below. There may be some more deeper details from the Chinese internet. <laughs> what if the match, sorry, one last thing. What if the matchmakers, like, saying, but Mr. Liu, I told you I was going to get you a date with a beautiful woman. And you said, it doesn't matter what it takes. So I did it. What are you talking about? <laughs> and Mr. Liu was like, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see a picture of Mr. Liu, and then it might make all make sense, man. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.